Well, hey guys, so in my last video, I showed you my gear loadout for this upcoming trip that I'm doing to West Virginia here in just a couple days. And so I also said I would do a companion video on the clothing that I'm gonna be wearing for this trip. So I'm gonna show you my three season gear loadout for clothes and what I typically wear and what I'm gonna be taking on this trip. So let's check it out. All right, so let's start off with shoes. Of course, I'm still rocking the Ultra Lone Peaks. These are the 3.0s. I've had these forever. Um, the, yeah, 3.0s, they don't make these anymore. Uh, you can't really find these anymore. Uh, they don't have that many miles on them because I only use them for hiking. So really, they're still in fantastic condition. The soles are getting a little worn on them and I'm probably gonna have to retire these really soon and get some, myself some four or fives. But uh, Lone Peak 3s, they just fit great. They're fantastically comfortable. I love these shoes. They're awesome. They're great shoes. And I hate to see them go. So I'm gonna wear them as long as I possibly can. Ultra Lone Peaks, fantastic shoes. I love these uh, right socks. These are absolutely fantastic. You can get these things wet and they dry out super fast. What I really love about them is the fact that they have a double layer in them. So they have like this thin, soft layer against your skin, which rubs against the outer layer of the sock and prevents blisters. These things are just fantastic. They're a little hard to get on when your feet are wet, but uh, once you get them on and get them just fit and just right, they're fantastic. Now, before I go any further, I should mention that I treat all of my clothing with permethrin. I spray every single article of clothing I have with permethrin to prevent ticks. Uh, mosquitoes, I can live with. Ticks are another story. I absolutely hate those things. They're nasty, disgusting. So I prefer to use permethrin on just every article of clothing I have. So everything I have is treated with permethrin. The other article of footwear that I have are my camp shoes, and these are the Shama sandals. I really like these Shama sandals. They're, they're pretty comfy. I can't walk super far distances in them because they are, you know, these, uh, they're considered thongs. You know, they go between your big toe and your middle toe, and that kind of drives me crazy. I'm not a huge fan of thongs. But, uh, you know, just wearing them around camp, they're absolutely perfectly fine. They have Vibram soles. So that's really nice. They're, they really prevent you know, your feet from getting hurt by sticks or anything. So they are fantastic camp shoes for me. And I take them anytime I go in the summer and warmer months. Uh, my Shama sandals, they're going with me on this trip for sure. Let's talk underwear. You probably don't want to see my underwear, but you're going to see it anyway. These are my, uh, these are my spider compression shorts. Uh, spider is a, a pretty expensive outdoor brand. Uh, you see them a lot at Dick's Sporting Goods and some of the big box retailers. I found these at my local Marshalls. If you have a place like Marshalls or TJ Maxx near you, you'll know what that is. They're, they're kind of an outlet for uh, ex expensive big name brand clothes. And I found a three pack of these. They are compression polyester shorts. So they fit really tight. They prevent chafing. They're absolutely fantastic, and I love these things. I wear them every time I go hiking now. Uh, my spider uh, compression under shorts, uh, I've treated these with permethrin as well, especially the waistband area. You wanna treat that and prevent ticks from getting up around the waistband. They love that area, as well as the area around the legs. Uh, I've, so I don't necessarily treat the entire article. I'll treat like the waistband and the um, this part down here, but that's, uh, Fantastic, fantastic shorts. I love these spider compression shorts. Now, if it's really hot and I'm wearing regular shorts, I'm gonna wear these right here. These are my ASICS running shorts. They're just a pair of running hiking shorts. And these things have been great. They're nice and vented. They got these little holes around the legs here. They have a drawstring, uh, you know, for the waist. Um, I pretty much wear these all the time in the summer. I'm gonna be wearing these day hiking when I'm in West Virginia, uh, not necessarily for backpacking, uh, but I probably will take them with me in my pack uh, just to, you know, if it gets really, really warm or I just need to you know, change out of something at night, then I will change into these. But I love these ASICs running shorts. They're great. Now, as far as pants go, I have this pair of REI, they're called the Venturi Pant, and they are specifically hiking pants. I love them. They don't make them anymore, which really stinks. Uh, I paid about 80 bucks for these when I bought them. They were not cheap, but these are the best hiking pants. They're like a stretchy material. They have like lycra in the knees and, and all the joint areas. They're just super awesome pants. I've talked about these in past videos and they, they fit me great. They're super comfortable, but I love these things. They have zippered pockets, uh, you know, so for putting my stuff in. I know my stuff's gonna be secure in them, so 
I uh, love these REI Venturi pants. I wish they still made them. They don't. So I, I'm going to wear these things as long as I possibly can. I have two different shirts I'm going to be taking with me on this trip. And the first one is this REI co-op, just a co-op brand. Uh, blue, uh, you know, this is a synthetic shirt. What is it made out of? I don't even know what it's made out of. Just a synthetic shirt. It's not cotton. This one fits me a little bit tighter than some of the other shirts I have, but I like I like it. It's a, it's a nice shirt. It looks good. And uh, it's a great hiking shirt. I don't really wear collared shirts when I'm out hiking. I'm not into those button-up style, long and short sleeve shirt. I, I don't wear those. I wear t-shirts. I wear these synthetic quick drying shirts just my style i love this rei co-op shirt though it's fantastic in the blue the other shirt that'll be going with me is my absolute favorite hiking shirt that i own and it's this mountain hardware shirt it's in it's unfortunately it's this bright red color but this is one of the best fitting hiking shirts i own it is just fantastic it's not too tight not too loose not too big it fits me perfectly it's like my goldilocks shirt and I absolutely love it. I only have one like this. Uh, I'm going to have to try to find some more because Mountain Hardware shirts just fit me the best. They are fantastic. And I love just the minimal logo uh, logos on it. It's just a fantastic shirt. And it, again, gets wet, dries super quick. Love these Mountain Hardware shirts, man. I need to get me some more of these for sure. I showed you this in the last video. And keeping it in my pack, of course, is my Melanzana hoodie, my Melly. I love this thing. It is made out of the microgrid fleece. Super warm and soft. Oh man, it just feels so good. And it keeps me warm when I'm cold and it keeps me cooler when it's not as cold. It's, a, it's an amazing fabric. It's absolutely amazing. I uh, love this thing. And you know, I, I don't know, some people wouldn't say the price is justified, but you know, these are about 75 bucks and you can only get them at the store in Colorado or on eBay, or you know, if you have a friend out there and get you one. These are hard to come by and you can get things that are equivalent to them at Old Navy and places like that. You don't necessarily have to have a Melanzana hoodie, but I was fortunate enough to be in Colorado to get to Leadville and get one of these. If anything ever happens to this thing, I'm going to be very, very upset, but uh, love my Melanzana hoodie. It's going with me for sure. It's my rain jacket and this is a Frog Togs. Uh, I don't know. It's just the Frog Togs rain jacket. These things are, are not my favorite. They tear so easy. You hit them on a tree branch or a thorn or something and you shred them. So I'm not a super huge fan of these Frog Togs jackets, but it's light enough weight that you know, if something happens to it, whatever, uh, it's going with me. I do have a Marmot jacket as well, a precip, but it's a lot heavier and I sweat really bad in that thing. But uh, so the Frog Togs is gonna go with me on this trip just to prevent you know, getting super soaked. And then when it comes to headwear, well, I have this uh, buff. This is my buff. Uh, I like the buffs, they are nice. They work really well to keep the sweat out of your eyes and just kind of use as a handkerchief and things like that. Uh, I do enjoy buffs. Uh, in the summer or the winter, I will take a buff with me because they have multi-function, multi-uses, and they just work really, really well. It's, it's a nice thing to have any time of the year with you. So I recommend taking a buff. It's going with me for sure. And then last but not least is my Patagonia trucker hat. I love these trucker hats because they're super well vented. Uh, get a lot of airflow to my head. They don't burn me up, but they keep the sun off my face. I love my Patagonia hat. These things are super expensive, but uh, I had a gift card, so that's why I picked one up. And uh, it works really well. It fits me great. It's got a good shape to it. It's a really nice hat. So I really enjoy the Patagonia hats. Way to go, Patagonia. This thing's going with me to West Virginia. And that's really all the clothes I take with me, guys. Uh, this is all that's going with me on my trip. I'm pretty minimalistic when it comes to clothes. I may take an extra pair of socks in my pack uh, in case my feet get really wet at stream crossings or something like that. But uh, all in all, really, that, that is everything that is going with me on this trip. So uh, that's the clothing loadout. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.